Aquarians. Welcome in today, my beautiful Aquas. We are doing your general reading. Thank you for viewing me. My name is Elena. Welcome into Searchlight Tarot and to all the beautiful Aquas. Welcome back. Current energies, you guys. I'm expecting to see the three ring circus. I don't have a card for the three ring circus. I have a one ring circus. But I feel that right now, uh, there's some situations going on around you right now, Aquarians, really testing your patience. You guys, I know what I'm feeling and what I'm going through, and I am an aqua, a lot of aqua, and I feel that right now, with the Mercury retrograde, lately it almost feels like there's certain situations around you right now that, you know, it just feels like it's complicated, but it's really not. It's just learning to take a time out, a step back, and realize what's going on around you right now. You know, we're all being tested about something with this last Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius season. And then the full moon, you guys, on Gemini on the 15th is going to be like a new sense of renewal for everyone. But let's go ahead and look at your current energies. I'm using the compass cards today to start off with for Aquarius. This is good for all placements, please. Current energies, let's get started. What would you like to show me? Current energies for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you. Strongest energies around the sign of Aquarius. This reading is for. Thank you. Anything else? Who is it? Ooh, the sacred pool. <gasps> Follow the leader. Oh, Aquarians. That's actually beautiful. A lot of encouragement around you right now. Something's pulling you out of a cave to get more energy of ambition and fire. Spirit guides are telling me to ride the wave, be in an energy of getting out of a body of emotion with certain situations. The ostrich around you is up and running. It's the land bird, the fastest land bird of movement. There's a hot air balloon behind that land bird. I always go by how I feel in the cards. I feel there's certain things going on around you, Aquarians, to test a part of yourself that sometimes we have to realize that there's certain situations in our life that are happening for a reason. What is the reason? About your true essence of who you are, the star. That you have to realize that if there's situations going on around you right now, it's like one day seems like everything's going good and the next day or the next few hours, it's going like, what the heck's going on? Spirit guides are telling me to tell you Aquarians, take a step back before you move on anything know that you can handle whatever comes at you. Because in the next few weeks, things are gonna change in your favor at a rapid rate. That's what I feel. First card on my left is the beautiful tree of home. I have a lot of things that are hidden in the moonlight. And then I have slow and steady, my beautiful Aquarians. Wow, Aquarians, looks like things are really pushing you to a place of trusting your divine self that there's certain situations around you right now. The tree has a clock, it's right here. The light above it is illuminating something about your true essence of your sacred self. And I feel spirit guides are telling me, follow the energies right now, but don't be over consumed with what you don't have your clarity on. I feel that there's something coming into fruition. It's only a matter of time with the clock that's going to give you a sense of you've got this. Things are going to start moving right in the new direction. By the 20th of December, Aquarians, write this on your calendar. It's going to be like a fresh start. Oh, coming to life in your star of commitment. I feel spirit guides are telling me, stay committed to what you truly want, Aquarians. Don't let energies make you feel like things aren't going your way. That if there are certain situations in your life right now that you're out of touch with or you feel like it's one thing after another, I feel I'm here to say to you, step out of your own body of emotion, ride the energies, follow the certain things that are coming your way to take care of, to handle right now, get back into a sacred energy of your own roots, your tree, something will be illuminated, the clock is about to move, but right now everything is telling me that things are about to come to life, but stay in your own energy of who you are, hope, faith, and renewal. Know that whatever is going on around you, it's going to be the end of difficult situations, it's only a matter of time with the clock. I feel that if you're going through certain situations right now, really testing your patience, and almost like, ugh, Spirit guys are telling me, take a step back. Don't get caught up in what appears to be a three ring circus. 
I feel spirit guides are telling me it's something going on around you right now, Aquarians, knowing that you can handle whatever comes your way. But there's certain things right now that we're finishing off loose things with that we have to take care of, that we have to take charge of. You know, I woke up this morning and there was 10 emails from somebody trying to break into one of my credit cards. Yesterday, two light bulbs blew and what else? Oh, the smart smoke detector went off the day before. Um, oh yeah, just, it's just, I can't, guys, I can go on and on. It's been one thing after another, but I've been handling it. You know, so I'm just going to let you know right now that things are a little haywire Stay in your own energy of commitment to something with yourself, with knowing that everything is going to be okay. Things are about to come back to life. I feel that if you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations, Aquarians, it's testing your patience and knowing that whatever comes your way, you need to take care of and handle it in the right way. I'm going to look at recent past now. And the recent past to me is about our own inner spiritual growth and development. You guys, I'm going to tell you your incoming energies. I'm just going to call it right now before I even get the cards. Something is about to play out in your favor in a beautiful way. And it's going to be like, oh, joy, oh, rapture. Hallelujah. Okay, eight of swords, really up in your head about a lot of things. Emotionally, there were things that you decided to leave. I feel there was a lot of things that you were over-processing, overthinking on how bad they could go or how bad they were. Emotionally, you had enough. It was like, you know what? If this, is, if this isn't going to make me happy, I'm going to leave it. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, and there's the big ends, the world to the wheel of fortune. You guys, I don't know who's under these decks and justice. You really came into a big energy behind you, Aquarians, of just deciding to leave certain situations that weren't making you happy anymore because I feel you had enough. And I do feel that you've been focusing a lot right now on what's going on around you, maybe questioning why is this happening. It's to test your own faith and commitment to yourself. Recent past for Aquarians. What would you like to show me? Some messages. Mm. Recent past for the sign of Aquarius. Messages. Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Aquarius? Felt like you were really like in this place of just feeling stuck. Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. Now the Page of Swords is telling me that you had a lot of things that really, I, I just feel like it was like the Three of Swords is a place of just feeling as if, they're almost like scars on the heart, but the heart heals. And I feel that there was a lot of things you've been through recently behind you that you always felt like you had to give pieces of yourself away. You started shifting your viewpoint, came into a lot of strength and courage, were deciding how to move forward towards something, and it was your wish fulfillment. You were all about justice recently behind you, and that was about your own scales being balanced and what has been right and what has been wrong. And if I had to speculate, right now you're all ready to get moving. You're all ready to just, but things are just a little wacky right now, you guys, because of the retrograde. And I feel spirit guide to tell me we're testing your patience, get your roots into the earth, take care of the things that come your way and watch how something's about to play out for you in the next few weeks, my beautiful Aquarians. Here we are. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the sun, and I'll save all these for coming into your current. Had a lot of optimism about something that seemed golden and, and, and new because it was. And I feel for the Aquarians out there that really had a place of knowing that something was going to work out, I feel spirit guides are telling me something is going to work out. The Nine of Pentacles is self-mastering and feeling whole, but I feel whatever you've been through recently behind you, you had enough and you decided to put something back together again and it was yourself. I have the Queen of Wands coming into your current energies. I have the King of Wands sideways, and I have one beautiful card left. You guys, the King of Wands is a king who keeps its eye on the prize, and sideways is telling me there's a lot of things you are envisioning. There's a lot of things you're ready to go up against. The Queen of Wands is showing up telling me that you had, a, you had an intuition about what you were going to go after and how to get it. But I feel there was a lot of things you had to put yourself back together again with your own strength and courage. And right now, I feel spirit guides are telling me, just because some things feel like they're just going a little crazy, take care of what you can take care of. Something in your life is about to change at a rapid rate. And I'm telling you, Aquarians, by the 20th, you're all going to be feeling great. You're just going to be like, oh, wow, because the last card they gave me coming into your current energy is the king of love. And, you know, the king of love is about commitment with the heart. 
And I feel spirit guides are telling me that right now there's a lot of things you need to sit above your own body of emotion with, balance the heart with your mind, commit to the things that you truly want and the people you truly want with your heart and take care of the unnecessary situations that are coming your way that you can handle. I feel there's a lot of things recently behind you that were aligning a lot of things you were wanting for your wish fulfillment. You had your eye on the prize. I feel that you were waiting for the right moment. But there were a lot of things that you were going to go after. And Spirit Guides are telling me there were some things you had to clean up. And it was about things in your life that the scales were out of whack. And you had to fight for what was right. You had to find a place of balance. And you had to finally see something for what it was about what it was, it was going to make you happy. Enough of something. I don't know what it was. It could be about your neighbor. I don't know. Maybe a job or somebody at you. But it, whatever it was, I feel like Aquarians right now are in this big energy of I can take it on. Even though things may be coming at you at 100 miles an hour, you can take it on and you got this. Take a step back before you react. Oh, that reared. I don't know where they come from, but I feel spirit guides are telling me before you react, just take a step back and really look at a situation and tap into your sacred self and get out of your own body of emotion. Just ride these waves. It's, it's taking you somewhere bigger. All right, let's look at uh, what's coming in for you now. What I think is coming in for my beautiful Aquarians. All right, the waiting game, meaning that something is about to go boom in a beautiful way. That's something that you have been putting a lot of work into Aquarians with yourself and situations are about to play out in your favor. Now, where are my psychic tarot cards? Has that been happening to you? Have things just been disappearing? I, I cannot tell. Oh, there they are. The last three days, you guys, it's just been so crazy. All right. Underneath the deck, I have the zero new beginnings. The slate is clean. You guys, now, I hope you believe me when I say this because I don't lie. I don't know who's under these decks. I just pick them up. I just go by how I feel. Zero, the slate is clean in the next week to two weeks. It's going to feel like, okay, I'm ready now. It, it's going to be a, a, a fresh place of renewal. It's just a little bit of a waiting game. Now, you know what's so really weird? You guys, I'm going to tell you something. I was out shopping a few days ago and I bought an hourglass. It was the only one on the shelf I saw that I really liked, but it was the, it, looks, it looks just like this one. I'm going to bring it up in my office after Christmas, but you know, I just felt like that was a sign. I just couldn't get my eyes off of it. And it was the last one there. And, looked, and I thought, I got to have it. I bought it. I'm going to say something to you, Aquarians. Your incoming energies are telling me that there's a lot of things that are moving in your favor for a fresh start. And when that energy comes in, there's nothing stopping you from going after whatever you want. Because if I had to speculate, you're going up against some forces right now. Take a step back. Relax. It's all going to be good. And whatever you've been through recently behind you, I feel there's a part of yourself that you started fighting for what you wanted for your own happiness. Incoming. Okay. For the sign of Aquarius. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the waiting game under here, but we're going to get started. Okay, I'll do this. I don't know who's under the deck. Strongest incoming for Aquarius. Next few weeks, please. What do I need to see? Strongest. Incoming for the sign of Aquarius. Next few weeks, please. Anything else? The hourglass, the waiting game. Mm. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. What do I got here? Okay. These are the energies coming in, and there's some messages behind it. And I go by how I feel and not the cards, but this is a big energy of claiming your personal power. And I feel that the bolt that you're about to get, Aquarians, has something to do with your own spiritual self and the connections you're with and your heart. I feel that you're emotionally withdrawing from certain situations that have taken pieces of you away. And in the next few weeks, it's going to be a big place of renewal. The only thing that can create any type of dis disrupts disturbances in your world is if you're not taking something head on that you need to handle. Okay. Because you guys have the ace and it's a big ins. It's your ace Aquarians. It's the ace of swords. You know, this card is victory and success, but it's breaking barriers. Next card they gave me is destiny. 
telling me that everyone that you're connecting with in the next few weeks and everyone you've been connecting with for quite a while is leading you somewhere to break a lot of new barriers for triumph and success for new beginnings. That ace is steel. It does not bend. There's nothing stopping you. And remember, you guys had a big energy of, oh, don't get on Aquarian's path because you guys are just marching forward. I have victory and success. I have conflict and defeat. And then they gave me rest and rejuvenation. All right, you guys, it's like I said, I feel the only things that can maybe slow you down in the next few weeks is if you're not taking something head on. Now, whatever comes your way, you have what it takes to, to get past it. This is a card of regrounding yourself. I feel spirit guides are telling me, find some quiet time. Find a place of finding your own energy, Aquarians. Something's going to give you a boost. They gave you the waiting game, and the last card they gave me is there's a part of yourself, Aquarians, that is about to become alive. Something's about to get ignited. It's an ace. I'm going to say something to you. In the next few weeks, you got a new energy coming in, Aquarians. It's like you're going after what you want. This is passion ignited. You guys, it's like a part of your heart is becoming alive for what you want. Things are going to start moving in your direction. There's certain situations you need to take head on and spirit guides are telling me and you shall succeed. That when you have this ace, there's nothing that can stop you because it doesn't bend. But it's about having the truth and clarity for something that you want to break a barrier with for triumph and success. I feel spirit guides are telling me everything's about to go your way, Aquarians. Just because you have a few obstacles around you right now, take a step back. Something around you is pushing you in a whole new cycle of something that's going to feel like you guys are just going to, I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say this because I feel it in the next few weeks, the energies that are going to start trickling in in the week to two weeks, you guys are just going to have this power behind you of just a fresh start of everything. Y you've been through so many things and I feel I'm just here to say to you Aquarians, be patient Take everything head on right now that you need to take care of in the right way and watch how things are about to play out for you in an, an enormous, beautiful way. Okay, I'm going to get some spirit guide messages now. They always have something to say to you, Aquarians. I see the deck in my head. I just have to find it. <laughs> just, here it is. I'm going to use this deck today, and these are the strongest messages from spirit guides. I as always ask for you guys' source of the highest vibration when I cleanse and come on camera. I have a place of optimism. I have something that's about to play out in your favor and it's just as from the things that you've been fighting for from recently behind you, the things that you were trying to make right in your life. Ten of Wands, a lot of things that you need to lay down and it's burdens and weights. Part of yourself is transforming to show you that you have the power along to overcome any obstacles that are before you. The sun is going to be upon you, meaning that there's a new energy coming in to give you a lot more optimism about the things in life that you truly want. Spirit guides, I would love some guidance for my beautiful Aquarians today, please. Show us what we need to see. <laughs> These are messages, you guys. I'm just going to relay the message. What would you like to tell Aquarians today about their reading? What messages for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you. What would you like to tell the sign of Aquarius today, please? Got the reading. Anything else? No, and here's the last card, and I can't see it. Six of coins. Boy, you're about to receive, and this is receiving in a beautiful way. It could be money. It could be more structure, but it's something that is really going to make your scales feel right, like it's going to be in your favor. I have the magician telling me that there's a lot of things you've been putting energy into and something is about to pay off in a big way. Page Wands, and it's new fire energy, you guys, and it's telling me that there's a new energy coming in that you need to follow. Seven of Wands, standing your ground, having the power to do so. Going after what you want for new beginnings, because this is new energy for new excitement, new adventures. Transformation from the things that have hurt you from the past. Because the Nine of Wands is telling me that there's a lot of things that you felt depleted from, defeated from. Judgment is coming in, telling me that there's certain situations that are now about to be birthed and they're new beginnings. And judgment is a big 
part of yourself that you've done a compassionate review for. I feel spirit guides are telling me for the Aquarians that have been doing the inner work about certain situations they've been going through and really taking everything head on, something in your life is about to burst something of magnificence because you have it with the magician. All right, five of swords is sideways, the king of courage who you guys, the King of Courage, it, it, the King of Fire is a very ambitious, charismatic king, and it's more fire energy. If you guys don't feel fired up in the next few weeks, then I'm going to have to tell you, you need to take a vacation and find yourself again, because there's something coming in to give you a boost of courage, a boost of determination, and I feel spirit guides tell, are telling me to tell you that there's nothing that you can't get past. And the king is the king that wins the wars. I mean, that's the king has a very charismatic plan, but it's also just because this king gets knocked down, this king gets right back up and in the race. Eight of cups, emotional disappointment. Seven of cups is in, I mean, seven of pentacles is in reverse. Aquarians, please be patient. A lot of things coming at you, Aquarians, that may feel like they're completely out of whack. Like things that you've been investing in and it maybe it feels like it's going backwards but spirit guides are telling me it taught you a part of yourself that you needed to walk away from of always thinking that everything's going to go awry. I feel you've done a lot of work recently if this is your reading about your own energy of thinking the worst. You thought probably caught yourself and you said, you know what? Everything is going to be okay. I know what I'm feeling. Ten of wands is in reverse. Five of wands is sideways. Four of wands is in reverse. Hold on. And then they gave me the three of swords in reverse. A lot of reversals, and it is retrograde, so I'm just going to say what I feel. I feel spirit guides are telling me that there's a lot of things that have come your way to teach you that you have the ability to make your own new beginnings. That everything was always here for you all along to start something from fresh, but you had to go through some things recently behind you to clean up an old cycle. You had to do a little more spiritual growth and insight about yourself, Aquarians. And I'm here to say, bravo, I know you did it. Six of wands is sideways and the two of pentacles is sideways. And here's that last final card. You guys, the six of wands is about a victory and feeling like you achieved it. You got it. You can do it. But the two of pentacles is sideways. Tell me that there's a lot of things in your life that, because the two of pentacles is structure, earth. It's like balancing, doing a juggling act. Spirit guides are telling me you're about to have a major victory in something that you've been juggling with for a long time and it's been about your stability. Because the last card they gave me is the Queen of Fire. <laughs> you guys, that's beautiful. I mean, I, it could have been reversed. It could have been, it could have been, a, but I felt the fire energy. This is the queen that attracts all the right people. And this is the queen that goes after what it wants and uses its charisma, its charm. I'm going to say something to you, Aquarians. In the next few weeks, there is nothing stopping you from going after what you want. And what you're about to attract is everything that you've been wanting to a certain degree. I feel that everything is about to play out in your favor in a big way. There's a new you that's about to shine and that everything that you've been going through, I feel spirit guides are telling me, well, you did a compassionate review. You really learn to let go of certain situations in your life that you felt deceived you in some way or felt that they weren't serving you because the tower is next, seven of swords, and then they gave me the queen of swords. That queen climbed that ladder, very intuitive queen. And I feel spirit guides are telling me you had a wake up call about certain situations in your life that perhaps you weren't taking head on because you guys believe it or not, this is Aquarius energy. I know this energy. The Seven of Swords, you know, a lot of tarot readers, betray, betrayal, lies, no, mm. Aquarians, there's some things in life that, you know, we, and I'm going to speak for the majority of Aquarians, you can say I'm wrong if you want, that's fine, but deep down inside, I feel you know I'm right. There's a lot of situations in your life when things come at you, and it's just people like demean you or say to you, you know what, you might just be like, but as soon as you walk away, Aquarians, you will say, yeah, whatever. And you will, you will drop that sword. You will drop that bomb and leave the room. And, you know, I just feel spirit guides are telling me, you learned a lot of valuable lessons about cutting certain things out of your life. And I just feel spirit guides are telling me that you have this beautiful energy coming in to go after whatever you want. And you're going to attract all the right people. And this queen is just the queen that attracts it all. I feel spirit guides are telling me in the next few weeks, use that charisma, use that charm. You're going to be in the, you're going to be in the spotlight. And I feel things are going to start to go your way at a rapid rate. And spirit guides are telling me that things are about to open. It's going to be a new sense of rejoice, celebration, and wow. 
So hold on for whatever you're going through right now. It's just a little bit of a circus. I feel everything that you've been through has taught you a lot about your own scales. And I feel you've been fighting for what is right. And spirit guides are telling me, and now everything is about to align because that sand is going through that hourglass. I should have brought my hourglass up here. You know, I thought about it this morning. All right, I'm going to get some angel cards now. Underneath the deck is the two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. You're about to attract all the right people. The energy shift is going to happen so fast right after the 15th. That's full moon in Gemini. By the 20th, the Koreans are going to be like, wow, I can take it on. I can take it on. Here we are. And you're going to attract this amazing, I feel like on the 20th, right around that time, Aquarians, you're going to be in the spotlight. You're just going to be like shining. Let's see. Angel cards for Aquarius today. And then I'll roll into Love Crossing. What would you like to tell Aquarians? Angel messages for the sign of Aquarius. What would you like to tell Aquarians, please? Should I? Anything else? Yeah, they're done. I see the card on my lap. It faced me and then it turned over. It was really weird. Underneath the deck, Aquarians, they gave you strength and courage. And I will read the one underneath it. These are what the master angels have to say to you. This is Archangel Ariel. This, you guys, this is not a coincidence. I'm just going to tell you. It's going to be a big message. Strength and grace through your kindness. Self-confidence and forgiveness. Like, let it go. Know that there's something going on around you right now to teach your own strength and patience. Then they gave you the leap of faith. Zero. This is card number 11. Are you guys ready? I'm telling you. Believe in yourself and listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy because Aquarians, spirit guides, and the master angels are telling me to tell you that you're about to go in all new directions with an immense amount of fire, immense amount of strength, immense amount of courage, and things are going to start playing out in your favor. First card on my left is they gave you the moon. These are all major arcanas, you guys, and it's a big message. Archangel Heniel. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Take things head on, but do it in the right way. The next card they gave you is the King of Air, the King of Michael. And this is what Angel Michael has to say to my beautiful Aquarians. Principle, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. But that's the king of air. That's king of Michael. Tell me, stay in your integrity. Stay in a compassionate way. Take things head on and speak your truth. The next card they gave you is change your life. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. It's It's... Archangel Jamul, you are the card after this. This is the tower, but this is what Archangel Jamul has to say to you. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination and embrace the opportunities that change is about to bring. Take things head on and watch how things push you in a whole new direction. Last card they gave you is another Major Arcana. It's Archangel. The angel that is the star. It's Archangel Jophie. And Archangel Jophie gave you decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back, Aquarians. A need to detox. A necessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. But Archangel Jophie has the cage open and the doves are flying free. Oh, Aquarians. <laughs> what a... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure it was quite a reading today, you know, and the, the other card underneath the deck was get yourself regrounded and find a place of your own quiet time to do some reflection and get your own star energy back and know that everything has been aligning for a bigger and better tomorrow and things are about to happen that's going to set you free. <laughs> that's bravo, bravo.
Bravo. Okay, you guys, I'm happy for all my beautiful Aquarians. You guys, I'm rolling into Love Crossing. I want to thank you all for your love and support. Now, I think I told you during one of the readings I was going to paint my room Kismet. This is not Kismet. I bought Kismet and I painted one of the walls and it looked like a giant Easter egg. So I thought, no, that it, it, I didn't feel me. So Lowe's was great enough to take the paint back and let me get with the color that it, I felt like it was me. So I just want to let you guys know. But you guys, thank you for all your comments, your love, your support. Love Crossing is for difficult energies. So if you're not dealing with anyone right now, or in very harmonious unions. Love Crossing is for people going through something. You guys, thank you. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. An amazing weekend. In two weeks, right around the 20th, Aquarians, your doves are free. You're just, you're going to be free. All right, you guys. Thank you. I'll see you next time. For my aquas dealing with somebody, let me cover my microphone. You guys, these are the strongest love crossing. These may or may not be all your persons. Some of these energies can be moved around. This is general. If it sounds like theirs, it more than likely is. Um, I don't, I always got to pick a deck that I feel would be the right thing. And I'm just kind of, oh, I'm kind of seeing something in my head I want to use. That's where our third eye is. That's where we start. Here it is, right here. That's where we start to envision things and that we should always follow it. Okay, someone's been, uh, someone feels they put some work into something here with you. They feel they've invested in the right way, but they're waiting to see some fruits from their labor from you, Aquarians. Oh, I can hear you right now. Oh, another seven. Seven of Wands, somebody who is standing their ground about something, it's their personal power. I feel this person feels they've invested a lot in something here with you. They're continuously at a crossroads with you, trying to find a compromise. Ace of Swords, about this union, the Knight of Wands, and someone who's still very wounded about a lot of things that happened between the two of you. That Knight of Wands is a very charismatic knight, but that knight can fly away as fast as it flies in. I feel that somebody here is standing their ground and really being in this energy of, well, I think I put enough work in this with my Aquarians and I can hear you Aquarians and you're like, oh no, 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 no. So let's look, love crossing. <laughs> A lot of people don't understand Aquarians. So if you're the cross watcher, I'm just gonna spill the beans. If you want to mend a fence with an Aquarius, if you want to try to get back or reconnect, speak your truth in a compassionate way. If Aquarius doesn't respond, it's because they're nurturing those seeds in their mind and they're thinking about it. So just because if the Aquarius doesn't respond right away, or if they respond back really fast, with, let them cool down because Aquarians don't hold grudges. They do not. They do not. Uh, two of Pentacles, juggler. A lot of weights they're carrying around. I saw you jump sideways. The chariot, Cancerian energy. I don't go by signs, but very disillusioned about their choices, about the things they've chosen. And I have someone who's very determined, the king of fire. And that is a very determined king. Very charismatic. Hmm. I feel somebody here feels they have choices. They have options, but they really don't want the other ones, Aquarians. They want you. I feel somebody's having a hard time of trying to find a compromise with you and they feel that they're not going to bend. And I can tell you right now, Aquarius ain't going to bend. It's fixed air. Fear gods. <laughs> Aquarians will bend after a while. This just takes them a long time. Let's see. Love crossing my Aquarians have been dealing with. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Tell me about the strongest love crossing for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Anything else? That was the Empress. Oh, this connection. They know it's a true connection. They feel it's, they feel that you're always the one, but the card... <laughs> Oh, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm just going to say what I feel. They're not going to die. They're not going to deny this connection. I feel that somebody's coming back around. Here comes the Fool. But I got three cups of love. I got big old judgment. And somebody who is staying in their very earthy energy about how something here went very awry. Aquarians, I just feel whoever you're dealing with because I don't judge and I don't take sides. And the only reason I'm laughing is because love is just the greatest teacher of all. 
and it teaches both energies because when two people connect like that, they have a soul contract. They have, you got their soul tribes. You have contracts with people to, to learn something off of each other. Some, some evolve, some last a lifetime, some end in two years, they get back in two years, some meet, greet, get together for a while and they go their separate ways. But they taught both of you something about yourselves. Now, this person is very disillusioned about what they truly want. The Seven of Cups is someone who feels, oh, well, I got options. But you see, you're their true love connection and they know it. This person is in big judgment mode about something. I feel the Three of Cups here is a card of reunion. It could represent third party. I feel this person is really looking at their own actions and something that happened between the two of you that they made a bad call on. Somebody did. Could be you. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Queen of Fire is sideways. Transformation is sideways. Oh, I see. The Inquisitive Page, the Watcher, Page of Swords. And there's Justice in Reverse. I told you somebody here feels something's been out of whack. Eight of Cups in Reverse. They ain't going anywhere emotionally. They're still invested. All right. This person feels there's something between the two of you. This is their current energies that's been very unbalanced in their view. I'm going to say something to you right now, Aquarians. They may act like they don't care or they're not. They're, they're looking at whatever they can to keep an eye on you. They're in denial about something here. I feel this person is <laughs> in this place of feeling that, well, I feel I've given enough to the situation. Um, I'm just going to go somewhere else. They didn't really mean that much to me anyway, but I'm going to be honest with you. This person it's like two hearts that belong together, but they feel they have options and choices. There's nothing good in there. Eight of Cups is in reverse. The last card out. Justice is in reverse. Page of Swords, the Thinker, the Watcher, looking at the Queen of Wands and Scorpio sideways. And I just feel somebody here is in big evaluation of something that they feel they've gone through with you, but they're starting to realize that there's something here emotionally they can't deny. I feel this person is going to take a leap of faith in the next few weeks towards you. They're, they're going to take a chance. They, they miss this connection. All right. I'm just, you know, hey, listen, I'm the everyday witch. We all have lessons to learn. We're all on our own journey. And sometimes it could be a month. Sometimes it could be a year. But eventually when somebody evolves and grows, they start to see things for what they are. Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Tower, Ten of Wands, and a Golden New Beginning. Somebody fears something here with you, Aquarians. They fear that if they reveal a sensitive side to themselves, you're going to look at them differently. But they want to come back around. Intentions towards Aquarian. Next few weeks. The most wonderful time. I've been singing that song all lately of the year. Page Cups, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but it's young love. The Hierophant Commitment, the Juggler, Ten of Swords, the Empress, and somebody at a distance. I feel somebody's coming back around to try to offer you something. Okay, the Page of Cups to me is like a child. Now, they're not calling anybody a child but it's very young, eager love, like excited love. You know, I just feel somebody here is about to plant a seed with you to see how you're going to react. If you're going to react, somebody misses you. They thought they can get past the fence, but I'm going to tell you, emotionally, they still feel tied to you. Not, and emotionally, they haven't walked away. It's all that eight of cups in reverse. Love crossing intentions towards Aquarius. Week to two weeks. What would you like to show me? Strongest. Love. Crossing. Thank you. Strongest love crossing intentions towards sign of Aquarius. Anything else? <sighs> Judgment, the magician, the king of pentacles, strength and courage. <laughs> I'm having a hard time today. Six of wands and something at a distance. Someone's coming towards you, Aquarians, to nurture something with you. I'm going to say something to you. Somebody misses you, Aquarians, and somebody misses you a lot. 
someone's coming back around and I just feel like they, they just miss your laughter. They miss your love. They miss your sense of humor. They miss your quirkiness. This person misses you. And they thought they had options and choices, but in all reality, it's you that they wanted all along. Sorry to say, but that's the truth. Now I have a golden new beginning. Sideways though, very unsure about it. I have an Ace of Cups upright. I have the Knight of Earth. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, a Queen of Swords sideways. And here comes the Hanging Man. It's kind of like this. All right. Hanging Man is Pisces energy and the Queen of Swords is Libra. But I just feel somebody here is trying to make something right with you because they feel there's something between the two of you that they've been shut out from for far too long. Because that night's a very methodical night. I feel somebody's coming in to drop a seed with you to see how you're going to react. You guys, this person, you know, Ace of Cups, it's new love. And maybe you're attracting new love. And somebody from the past, it's trying to mend something with you. It may be a little half in, half out, because they're not sure how you're going to respond to something here. I feel in the next few weeks, somebody is trying to pull something in at a distance from you that they feel has been a hurtful completion. They want to speak to you. They're going to drop a little bit at a time. I got somebody with some big feels. I got somebody who wants to invest in this a little bit. I got the big queen of fire, who's a very charismatic, very charming. They want to communicate. They're hoping for a reunion. The queen of love. I'm telling you right now, somebody's coming back to try to mend something with their Aquarians. I tell you, love, love, love is such a beautiful thing. But at the same time, it's one of the hardest lessons of life because it teaches us about what we truly want in life and to look at a part of our own actions. Did we kid ourselves? You know, whatever you've been through and whoever this is, somebody's done some growing here. Now, you know, I always say if you don't want this person back, at least mend the fence in the right way and move on, you know. But if this is somebody coming back that you still have feels for, go slow, you know, and, you know, nurture it a little bit at a time. Don't jump in with two feet, one foot at a time. I feel somebody's coming back around to try to mend the fence with you, but we are in a Mercury retrograde and everything right now can be a little bit of a trickster. So they come back because they have these feelings and oh, and then as soon as Mercury retrograde goes direct, whew, it's gone. So, you know, go slow because I know people have gotten back during a Mercury retrograde and it turned out beautifully, but it's two people investing in something the same way. All right, you guys, this is your reading today. I love you all. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you for your love and support. I am truly grateful. I hope today's reading helped you. It was, it was great. It was beautiful, you guys. Thank you for viewing me, and I'll see you next time.